Oh, what's good, YouTube, man? It's Gabe with the Hunter Fan TV. Back at you, another video. Like the content, this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Like the content, this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe, man. Listen, I put out a poll today. Who do Ravens fans want? DJ Moore, Roquan Smith, Elijah Moore, Shaq Thomas, or you can comment down below, you know, uh, another name. So about 48, 50 people voted on that. 42% went to DJ Moore. 40% went to Roquan Smith. Well, the Ravens end up getting one of those names, and that name is Roquan Smith, man. Uh, big time player, big time linebacker. Really one of the top two names that Ravens fans were looking for. Like I said, it was either DJ Moore or Roquan Smith. And the Ravens come away with Roquan, man. So we're talking about for a second round and a fifth round pick. Good value for a good player. Uh, so let's go over the history of Roquan Smith so far in his career and what we can look, look at going forward. So 6'1", 230 pounds, uh, out of the University of Georgia. Played so well at Georgia that he was a first round pick in 2018, number eight overall. Top 10 picks, so this is a highly coveted linebacker, a uh, really good player, uh, but I didn't stop there, right? In the NFL, he's been a second team all pro in 2020 and 2021. Already has over 600 tackles in his career, 16 and a half sacks, seven interceptions. So this is a guy in Roquan Smith who took that first round pedigree and put it out there on the field, and he's worth it. He's worth the, uh, the second and the fifth round pick, no doubt in my mind, all right? But let's talk about this season. 52 tackles as far as solos, that's third in the NFL. Two and a half sacks, two interceptions, all right? And if you want to combine his solo tackles with his, uh, his other tackles as well, um, excuse me, he has 83 tackles on the season, which makes him the league leading uh, player in tackles this year. So not only do it, has he been doing it in the past, he's doing it right now in his career. He already has 83 tackles on the season. That's, that's amazing. He's playing really well. Um, the Bears didn't want to pan. The Bears are kind of in the process of a rebuild, so that's fine. Uh, he can come to the Ravens and win now. Now, obviously, with the Ravens uh, trading for Wilcron Smith, that means that, you know, a contract is probably shortly to follow. If not right now, definitely in the offseason. Just because of the draft capital the Ravens gave up. And we know that the Ravens had to hold their draft capital. So if they gave up, they gave it up for a player, they definitely want to gonna, uh, keep that player in the building, okay? So we look at his career. The lowest amount of tackles he had was in 2019. That was 101 tackles. And in that season, he only played 12 games, okay? So we're talking about a player who has had 121, 101, 139, 163, and 83 so far this season, all right? Now, in terms of games played, he played all 16 games his rookie year, started 14 of them. He played 12 games his second year, so he missed four that year. All 16 games 2020, all 17 games last year, all eight games this year. So not only are they getting a good player, they're getting a durable player, all right? They're getting a guy that's going to help this team right now and raise the ceiling of this passing defense, all right? Patrick Queen is coming to his own, and we can admit that, but he's going to go even to higher heights next to a guy like Roquan Smith, okay? Um, so that's why it's an absolutely, it's a great move. It's a slam dunk of a move, all right? Um, and I'm looking at his snap counts. He doesn't come off the field very often. He's played 100% of the snaps this year. The two years before that, he was at 95%. So this is an every-down linebacker. Running the ball, passing the ball, Roquan Smith can do it all as far as stopping the, uh, the opposing offense, all right? So we know the Ravens that haven't had the greatest luck in pass coverage sometimes. You know, Patrick Queen, like I said, he's evolving. He's getting there. But Roquan Smith is, immediately solidifies this unit, all right? Josh Bynes did as much as he could. Josh Bynes has been a, a good player for the Ravens, but we got to admit he's getting up there in age. And also, he's getting kind of banged up this season, right? So, uh, with that being said, the Ravens got younger, they got better, they got faster, and they also got a leader. Now, listen, I mentioned that the uh, Pat Patrick Queen, right? Now, this gives Patrick Queen complete license to do what he's been doing, which is not have to worry about the calls, just play, just ball, just, just read and react. Roquan Smith is going to handle all of everything else. Now, maybe not right away. He has to learn the defense and things like that, right? But the Ravens now have a general in the middle of the field, right? So, to me, that's great. That figures up Patrick Queen do even do even more things, right? This is a very Eric DaCosta-like kind of move. Uh, Calais Campbell, Marcus Peters, Yannick Ngakwe. Now, Roquan Smith, all defensive players, all traded for uh, by Eric DaCosta, you know, to the Baltimore Ravens. So, uh, this is just the next line of guys. And Roquan Smith could potentially be the biggest payoff because of his age and um, because of the position they need. The Ravens need a linebacker, and they got one. So big time move. Um, 
honestly, I was prepared for the Ravens to do nothing. <laughs> I really was, you know. So it was good to see that he did something. Now we got to talk about the flip side. All right. John Harbaugh announced today that Rashad Bateman will miss multiple weeks due to an injury. And obviously, I've mentioned DJ Moore before. Now, with this Roquan Smith trade, I'm not saying it's impossible, but it's not looking like the Ravens are going to probably trade for a receiver of DJ Moore's caliber. A caliber, excuse me. So, wide receiver is still a need, especially if Bateman's going to be out multiple weeks, all right? Now, listen, that second half versus Tampa Bay, we saw what happened. It looked good out there, no doubt. Uh, I would still like to see if the Ravens could bring in somebody else, all right? Um, but we're not going to let that damper that the good news that the Ravens got Roquan Smith, right? This is a all-pro, as we can see, talent at linebacker. This is a guy that's going to immediately step in and help the team right away. Now, we'll see if he plays Monday night versus the uh, the Saints. We'll see. But this is a great time to get him. The Ravens had his long break off after uh, playing that Thursday night game. So he'll be, he'll be able to get to Baltimore, get settled in. And we'll see how much he plays, but this is a slam dunk trade for the Ravens, all right? You got younger, you got better, and um, you got a guy who's a leader. So it's a great move for the Baltimore Ravens. I can't wait to see Roquan Smith on the field officially. And uh, when he when he gets out there because it's a premiere, we're going to talk about it then too, all right? Uh, I just want to drop this quick little video about Roquan Smith being traded to the Baltimore Ravens. So it's a good day. Uh, the Ravens did make a move that helped the team. And uh, we'll see if they do anything at wide receiver as well. But for right now, Roquan Smith supports Baltimore from Ravens. The Ravens fans have to be happy about that. All right. Uh, so I'm going to get out of here, man. It's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.